Hey guys, Trey Llewellyn here, and this is gonna be an amazing episode. We are talking about week 12, words that sell. Before I lose you, let's reel you back in, because here's what we wanna do. We wanna have a lot of fun with this. You're gonna be amazed at just how changing little words, taking them in and out, putting them in place, can increase or decrease your conversions. I'm gonna tell you this through stories, but first, I gotta talk about a really cool book. So I don't know even where I found this book, to be honest, but I'm glad I did. There's only a couple books that I recommend, and it takes a lot for me to recommend a book, and this is one of them. So the, the book is called Words That Sell. It's by uh, Richard Bayen, and it is absolutely amazing. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a little, uh, little close-up. I'm doing this on my team. They didn't even know I was gonna do this. But I wanna come close to the camera here, and I wanna show you some words. Can we do that? Is that able to do that? Can we, can we show them what's going on here? Mm -hmm. All right, so we have, check this out. So you have self-improvement, you have security, peace of mind, uh, you have powerful, so dramatic, spectacular, explosive, uh, knockout, so really get your mind thinking, tough, robust, rugged, smashes, made, custom built, hand, hand burnished, uh, hand colored, hand dyed, manufactured, engineered, produced. You have informative, ooh, that one's good. Uh, uh, let's see, enlightening, eye-opening, mind-opening, detailed, in-depth, authoritative. Improved, honest, so I mean this book just goes, I don't even know how much this book is. 16 bucks, totally worth it. So let's scoot back here, grab this book, it's probably on Amazon. Now that everybody's gonna go buy it, you might as well buy it now. Uh, obviously we don't get any commission or anything like this, but I'm just saying, you're gonna make some money. So let me tell you uh, some examples here, take that. So, so let me kind of show you where this kind of started to really make sense on why this book was uh, so important. Because it used, to, it used to just be on the shelf, I was like, ah, I'll never look at it. But then I started thumbing through and I was like, you know, it'd be kind of cool to add some words. And, and, and I got two examples for you that's worked really well for us. So the first example we had is we were selling uh, this, this like backpack, okay? So we had this backpack, we're selling it. And it was a, uh, a, a bump, an order bump for us. So I was like, hey, you know, here's some survival stuff. Do you want to grab the backpack? And we just called it a, a, like a, 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 three, a three pocket backpack. Grab it today, it's $29. On that, we were getting about a 15% conversion. That's pretty freaking good for an order bump. So that's kind of where the words that sell come into play. And I gotta tell you, this title says it all, because words sell. So what I did, was all I did, and how crazy is this, is I said uh, a three pocket backpack, right? And all I did, crazy enough, is I put the word premium in front. And then I just watched. So I stood back, I watched, and I wanted to see if it made any change to the conversion. So to recap, I had a three packet backpack, you can grab this for the order bump, is for $29, okay? And then I put the word, all I did was add the word premium. So now it says premium three pocket backpack, 29 bucks. So I let this run. We had a, over 100 conversions uh, come in. So that's what I usually, usually, uh, usually to make it true, to see over my uh, conversions, like okay, I got 100 on the order form. How many came through uh, this, this pack pack, okay? So with that, we went, just by adding the word premium, no other changes, we went from a 15% take to now a 25 to 30. It's bouncing right around that 25 to 30% mark. How amazing is that? So that's a 10% difference. Let me just do some quick math just to show you guys how amazing that is. So you had 15%. So let's say we had 100 people come in. That's 15 that take it. So that's 15 times, let's just say $30 for uh, easy math here, because we're putting uh, myself on the spot. So that'd be $450, okay? So now, we just increased it by another 10%. So 15 times, oops, sorry, 25 times 30. So let's see, now, now I'm really struggling. Uh, we got five, what is that, $750, right? Holy smokes, that's amazing. That's for every 100 conversions. So, you start to scale that up, right? You got a winning ad whoop, with your Facebook traffic or whatever traffic you're using. That starts to make a pretty big difference in the amount of conversions that you can make just by using the word, in this case, premium, all right? So that makes a huge difference. So over 1,000, that's times 10 right, $7,500 for 
for every 1,000 conversions. That's an extra $7.50 per conversion. Hello, that's money, that's money. All right, so are you guys getting this? Is this making sense? Man, maybe I should really start thinking about the words I'm using in my product descriptions, the words I'm using in my order bumps, the, the words I'm using in my upsells and downsells and how I present to the thank you page. It comes all back to words that sell. So here's the other thing, we use tactical, all right? We, we have a, a tactical category in our Lumitac brand, so we, we started using the word just tactical. We saw the same thing on the order bump. We went from, I believe we were at about an 8% conversion on the order form. As soon as we inserted the word tactical, we went from 8% to 13% on the order form. That's amazing. So again, it all goes back to those little tweaks that you can be doing on your funnel the little things like this, to adding the word premium, to adding the words that we just discussed through that book, to adding the word tactical, and you know, it really, really goes to your brand, right? And that's where that book's gonna kinda help you out. You gotta kinda see your brand, see your niche, see what you're advertising on your product, and what words you can use to really start increasing your conversions, because that's what it's all about. The, better, the more conversions, the more revenue you make, the more money you can afford, the more conversions you can afford. Bada bing, bada boom, you built a foundation underneath your business, and you are ready to rock and roll. Hey, my name is Trey Llewellyn, and thank you for watching this week's Unstoppable Core. I look forward to seeing you on the next week's episode.